Hello in this video we will discuss about the anatomy of eye and light reflects pathway due, due to the nervous system which that will detect the light and make image to transmit into the brain for detection of what is the object. So here is I am drawing the general uh, structure of the eye for understanding first of all and then we will also understand about the uh, light reflex pathway so this is the basically is the sclera is the outer layer and the choroid is the middle layer and innermost paper paper like uh, sheet which that is known as retina and this is the blue color shows that lens and this is the pupil which that is uh, uh, variable their size can be variable and regulate the light and here is the cornea cornea is the transparent part of the anterior anterior so the ciliary body are present as well neuler are present and the optic nerve and here I am drawing the bigger picture for understanding the zooming out so here is the cornea and this is the anterior chamber and posterior chamber is the back and this is the iris and this is the uh, zonular fiber. This zonular fiber is a ciliary body as well as here is the limbal region. And that is iris make a color. So that is why. And the pupil is used for the dilation and constriction for light accommodation. So let's begin to here is the close vision and the distant vision. So when close vision the lens of the eye will be convex lens for and light absorption is uh, with that point, point with the quite point so here is the object here is the distant vision which that is a more concave shape lens will be occur to make a, a image in the retina in the fovea which that is contain rod and cone cell we will discuss also in later in this video so here is the convex lens and concave lens which that will um, absorb the light when the uh, uh, close distance so the close will uh, not dilation of the pupil and as well as the lens will not uh, relax uh, constrict part so here the parasympathetic nervous system is stimulate the oculomotor nerve to constrict the pupil to constrict the pupil by ciliary body to absorb light less light while the sympathetic nervous system allowed to give response by oculomotor nerves to dilate the pupil for more light accommodation so that is why it will become a convex as well as pupil will dilate more for absorption of light more for making image efficiently so here is the problem of the eye uh, related to the lens we will discuss here so the myopia is the first which that is the near sighted problem and we can set the convex lens in the form of glasses and we can set so uh, for example here is the myopia which that make the image is more um, uh, more close to the lens and not go into the retina so the le uh, uh, image will not occur while we can fix with the here convex lens which can uh, increase the a distance in the retina for the light more light uh, accommodation so the more light will be accommodated and on the other hand here is you can see this is a convex lens we can put due to the hyperopia hyperopia means the long sighted problem a uh, distant sighted problem so we can fix in the case of a hyperopia the uh, origin of the light will be uh, more forward as compared to the normal eye so it can be fixed by the convex lens so let's begin to understand another way we should also understand here is the retina so the retina contain a uh, um, four layer which that is here you can see three layers so here is the pigmented epithelia which that absorb the color and on the other hand the rods and cone cell and bipolar cell Bipolar cell transmit the signal from the rod and cone cell toward the optic nerve for, for uh, processing into the occipital lobe, lobe of the brain. So this is the optic nerves which that will be uh, get the signal of the light and that is known as the phototransduction or light transduction. So it is the bipolar cell and rod and cones and epithelium which that is 
play important role for the photo transduction we will discuss in the next video or uh, i have uh, i have a video about that i can give the uh, uh, i can give the link in the description below you can watch that so here is the dilated uh, pupil here is the dilated pupil due to the sympathetic nervous system and here is the normal and this is the constricted pupil and in this way the light accommodation due to the a constricted pupil is used for the close sighted while the dilated pupil is used for the long sighted or using for the more absorption of light during the sympathetic nervous system for, for alertness while the constricted pupil is due to the um, basically the parasympathetic nervous system while the normal will normal so let's begin to understand first of all this was the retina will transmit the signal to the optic nerve 3 that is the cranial nerve and retina uh, a pre uh, sorry that is the pretectal nucleus not retectal nucleus but pretectal nuclear nucleus which that get the signal and bilateral innervation will be occur and the oculomotor nucleus or Edinger Westphal nucleus, which that both are playing important role for the sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous system. Edinger Westphal nucleus used for the parasympathetic nervous system, while the sympathetic use the oculomotor nucleus to give the response for the pupil delays or constriction. So I hope you make sense about these things. And next here we will discuss about the reflex pathway, the light reflex pathway. We will not understand about the photo transduction because that should be a separate video. So here is, this is the eyes, the pair of eyes in the form of complex eye, which contain a single lens uh, rather than the multiple lens are present in the compound eye of arthropods. So here you can see this is the nucleus, two type of nucleus. That is here is, and here is the occipital lobe and midbrain. Midbrain contain nucleus. So on the other hand here is the upper part is the lateral geniculate uh, nucleus. So the lateral geniculate nucleus. So this is the nasal retina, which that is used for the nasal uh, vision field the nas nasal visual field while here the temporal retina is used for the temporal visual field so this is the retina which that is used for the light absorption and making the image is very important and here is the retinal ganglion cell and here is the axon of retinal ganglion cell you know and this is the post ganglionic fibers this post ganglionic fiber is come from the oculomotor nerves here so the oculomotor nerves is arise from the oculomotor nucleus as well as the edinger westphal nucleus so here is the accessory oculomotor nerves which that is also known as also the part of the edinger westphal nucleus which that is used for the uh, afferent nerves while the efferent nerve is the optic nerves optic nerve 2 cranial nerve 2 and the cranial uh, you can uh, understand the cranial nerve 3 so the cranial nerve 3 so uh, here is the optic chiasm this is optic chiasm and here is the preganglionic parasympathetic fiber the cranial nerve 3 and this is the preganglionic parasympathetic cranial nerve 3 well, that was the cranial nerve too. And here you can see after the uh, crisscrossing, here you can see the uh, uh, nasal field of the retina will transmit the signal through optic nerve toward the nucleus of the uh, pretectal nucleus. So remember, so this pretectal nucleus will give the signal, and this pretectal nucleus will interconnect with the edinger westphal nucleus and accessory oculomotor nucleus and in this way here you can see it is interconnected so that is why the one eyes will be uh, absorb the light so the same mechanism for the pupil dilation or constriction uh, from one eyes to the second ultimately due to these things because interconnected to give the signal to the left eye from the right eye so this is the basically is the uh, temporal retina 
temporal uh, optic nerve will move toward the uh, lateral geniculate nucleus and after the lateral geniculate nucleus also arise toward the uh, midbrain toward the uh, sorry toward the midbrain yes and to the pretectal nucleus of the uh, pretectal nucleus to the accessory oculomotor nerves and anterior westphal nucleus so remember that a oculomotor nerve oculomotor nucleus is used for the sympathetic while the parasympathetic nervous system is used the edinger westphal nucleus so this is the you can see this is the basically the um, you know, ciliary ganglion which that transmit the nerve impulse to efferent efferent nerves which are the pupillary muscle response for dilation and constriction on the basis of their situation so this is the nasal retina and basically is the optic nerve cranial nerve 2 and this is the afferent nerve will transmit the signal from eye toward the brain while the afferent efferent nerves which that transmit the signal toward the eyes for ciliary ganglion and ciliary movement also the constriction and dilation of the lens on the basis of the pupil constriction and relaxation so this is the left temporal uh, temporal uh, image and the right temporal image as well as the nasal field will detect the light on the basis of this angle so you can understand as well and that is why basically is the there are many complication will lead to a uh, problem of i we will discuss also in next video but in this video this is the overview of the uh, light reflex pathway and anatomy of i so this is the left and right uh, visual field will be occur due to the temporal as well as the nasal field so thanks for watching please make sure to subscribe like and share ask the question for answer and some uh, uh, some give the comment about the a uh, new video and um, i will make another video about the uh, light reflex pathway problem and thanks for watching bye